Hey, how's it going, everybody? Um, apparently my phone stopped recording for some reason after the first attack. So let me just show you what that was. We had this team here. I decided to go with a blue team of uh, Finley, Ariel, and... Uh, what's it called? Grim, And then also Jabberwock and Proteus. Was able to get uh, a enough blues to get Finley special charged and then enough purples so I froze the right side here got defense down on everyone at that point I then matched for a blue diamond which took most of them out and then I didn't have too much trouble I did lose Ariel and Grim and maybe no I don't think I lost Proteus uh, so I just got the tiles I needed and was able to make pretty quick work since there's a lot of buffs on this team and then I noticed I wasn't recording, and so occasionally it's like, I don't know, this native uh, screen recording thing on iPhone seems to crash every once in a while, which is pretty annoying. So on to the next. Um, I was mentioning that I've lost one more time on defense, um, but I'm pretty happy with the B considering I didn't use a blue tank for this, and I have to say I'm pretty happy with this performance overall. I think we're going to definitely get top 1% if I can get at least two or three more wins. Um, two wins might be top 5%, three wins should be pretty solid, and if I can win the last four or one, that'll just be sort of amazing, because all these teams are going to have tons of emblems, but that would be a guarantee at that point, so. Oh, wow. So... Slightly tempted to use my yellow team, but I think that's foolish because if Ursina goes off, um, at least one Proteus pretty much dies every time that happens. Or not Proteus, at least one Jackal dies pretty much every time that happens. And then Dem Demisha Dominia has uh, defense against Holy, so that'll just make it a little bit more annoying. So since we have a non-threatening buffing uh, tank here, I'm going to stick with this blue team, I think. Has a lot of emblems though. So let's hope for the best. Alright, so when I see something like this, my thoughts are how can I make a diamond out of this? So. Hmm. I don't see any really good options for that. Obviously, if I can get a blue tile right there, that'll do it, but I don't think I can do that. Uh, so let's just go for a combo here. I have enough blue matches on the board for um, getting Finley charged, so that is good. I think this is a situation where I'm actually going to let Ariel fire. Well, I didn't have a choice actually right there, but we're going to even make one more match. And then I th think I'm going to target Ursina. Wow. Okay, let's slow this down a bit. Okay, so there's our buff. I want to save Jabberwock till we get the full team defense down. So the question is, do I want to lead with Grim or do I want to follow up with Grim? I think I want to lead with Grim. I don't think this is going to kill Arsena though, but I will probably pop the purple diamond and I think we'll be in pretty good shape. So let's do Ariel first so I get the 20% buff. Go defense down here, we'll hit Arsena, we'll hit the sides, and let's take stock of the result. All right, so let's go with the purple diamond. All right, we have a follow-up to kill Arsena, so let's freeze this, do this, and this should kill Arsena with the blues. Oh, Ariel, just die. There we go. <laughs> wow. 
All right, that was pretty easy. Three more. Still top five. Okay. So, Magni Tank. Double Healer. Vela on the wing is not as scary. So, do I want to go yellow? I kind of want to stick with this. It's been working. Um, getting used to it. Let's not disrupt the balance too much. Okay. So we only have two blue matches, which is not enough, obviously. Let's see if I can make anything out of this. Okay. That's a good start, so we'll do this before doing any more blues. Lock down the middle, hit the sides, and then try to get our blues together. That might not have been the best blue match to make, but that's okay. All right, take a chance against Aaron. Alright, so we're not going to kill Vela with that string of blues there, so let's just get Finley ready. Wow. Oh, that's interesting. For some reason I thought he only he heals the entire team, but only nearby allies get the uh status defense. Okay. So this should definitely be enough for Vela. It's actually good timing for Aaron to have that buff because it allowed Finley to go for the whole team. We're not gonna be able to stick them with defense down, but just the attack power enough. Oops, forgot to use Ariel first. Should do it. All right, and I think this will finish him off. Oh, that will. <laughs> Okay, still recording, still winning. 16,000, uh, 15,000. So I think we're right on the cusp. So if we can win one more, we should be good. Uh, at least we're not going to have to even consider buying back in, which is a relief. So what is that, five losses total? One, two, three, four, five, yeah. And I had a bunch of three in one day. I think day two was... Real shit show for me. Oh, our non emblemed egg gear tank is a beautiful sight for this blue team. So, let's stick with it. It's funny to think that in this tournament where a lot of the tanks are blue, that attacking with a blue team can have such good results. So, we still need more tiles. So, this is a good combo here. Alright, I don't love hitting Frida, but that's a better way to go about it. Alright, this is good. So, who do we want to... Let's freeze right down the middle. I think, I guess I'll lead with, let's see, I have a follow-up into Poseidon, so let's lead with him. Get three more tiles. Oh, the spirit link kept him alive. Okay, this time Ariel first. Hmm, let's hit over here. All right, this is going well. There's four purple tiles, all right. I have to say these boards are fine by me. Double hit on Poseidon for the win. Okay. Yep, top 1%. Where are we? 6,000, so we are solid. In top 1%, if we can get another win, 
why not? But I'm pretty sure we're not going anywhere. All right, so Jean-Francois is a good Finley counter, but with him being on the wing, I think that I'll be able to get Finley special charged before I have to worry about him doing the defense flip. Um, so let's roll with this again. <laughs> All right. Not the beautiful boards I was getting used to. Hmm. Yeah, I have to say this is not looking good. It's too soon to say it's looking bad, but... Alright, Jabberwock is not going to be much help right now. I was wrong about being able to be ready before uh, Jean-Francois, which is going to make our main strategy not very effective. Yep, kind of floundering here with the wrong tiles. So I think this is not going to be not going to be a win here, but I feel pretty confident that I'm in a solid spot for top 1%. Yeah, we're about to get barbecued. And then, oh, wow. All right. A stunning defeat. But usually the cutoff is around twelve to 15,000 from what I've seen. And... Uh, it's too late in the day. If it was like, if I was attacking right at the beginning of the day, I'd be worried about my position being knocked a little bit more. But I think, uh, let's see, being at 6,000 is pretty solid. So this is interesting. Uh, B on defense, which is, I think, above average. That's pretty good. But I have one, two, three, three zeros. One where I only killed one, one where I only killed two, and another where I killed two. So that's a lot of missed points. Um, and still top 1%, so that is pretty good. We'll take the extra rewards here. Um, all right. Also got a holy chest to work in. Or not a holy chest, an elemental chest. A blue chest that I just got. I uh, skipped, skipped my chest, the one skip I usually do per day. So that I could uh, have those tournament attacks count towards filling it. And then I realized that we had this ice chest. So that's nice. Hopefully I can actually get some four-star materials from it. I've been on a very long dry spell with four-star ascension items, which is pretty disappointing. I've got enough right now to keep me going with the next few. So I'm about to ascend Vela, the telescopes... Uh, I already ascended Grizzul, so the next rings are going to go towards Tyr, and then ideally Gravemaker in May, but if no Gravemaker, then probably Jean-Francois, unless something better comes along. And then Darts, I haven't decided. And then Tabards, I might even level up to Clarissa, the May Hero of the Month, if I can get her. Otherwise, I have Ursina and Cage. So, some good options, but then I'm going to be totally out of stuff, and, uh, Hopefully I can get more, because like I said, it's been a long dry spell. So thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with me through the tournament. I hope you guys did well and get some good loot from it. If I've learned anything, it's that getting top 1% is not really uh, an indication of getting good stuff anyway. So it, it's the best bet at it, but it's not the, the only way. You know, even top 10%, you can get better stuff sometimes, depending on how lucky you are. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.